Hi, I'm Mr. V. Welcome to Story Club. Are you a little messy sometimes? Maybe you forget to clean your room or take your dirty shoes off when you come in the house. Well, I hope you're not as messy as the main character in today's story. Today we're going to be reading Sloppy Joe. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it now so you can read along with us. Sloppy Joe by Dave Keen, illustrated by Dennis Brunkis. Mom says I'm the first kid in history to take a school picture with gum stuck in my hair. You can barely notice. My room looks a little bit messy, but I know exactly where everything is. Everything except my bearded dragon, a few of his crickets, and a grilled cheese sandwich I lost last summer. When you're sloppy, people are always telling you what to do. I'd rather be raised by alligators. I've always been good at being sloppy. I slurp, spill, slouch, talk with my mouth full, and put my elbows on the table without even trying. Dad says I'm a natural. So do Grammy and Big Grandpa. They spread newspapers all around me when we eat dinner at their house. How do they know a meatball could roll that far? But I'm not just good at being sloppy. I can catch more frogs than any kid on my street. Just ask my mom. I know how to help Dad in the yard. And I'm really good at baseball because I practice, practice, practice. But sometimes I wish I wasn't so sloppy. Like when my friend's mom doesn't let me come in the house. Just wait here, I'll send Jimmy out, she says. But I wiped my feet. When being sloppy gets me in really big trouble, I just try my newest jokes. Sometimes even my best jokes don't work. So I decide something has to change. That's when I wake up my mind not to be sloppy anymore. Starting tomorrow, I'll be neat, Joe. The next day, I give the dog a shower. I clean my room. I find that lost grilled cheese sandwich. It's so hard, I almost break my teeth. I set the table for dinner. I even find one of my lost crickets. This being neat stuff isn't as hard as I thought it would be. But nobody cares about my neatness because everyone in my family has the flu. I tell them not to panic. This is the job for Neat Joe. So I bring cold socks for their foreheads. I cover everything with germ spray. I even make soup. I try to cheer them up, but my jokes only make them groan louder. Hey, what kind of dog wins every contest? A wiener dog. Get it? Wiener dog? What's wrong with you people? By the time Granny gets here, I have everything under control. So what do you think of Neat Joe? I ask my family. He reminds me of old sloppy Joe, Dad says. And he's a very special kid, Mom says. Joe was so messy, it was starting to affect his life in a negative way. He decided to make a change. If there's something you do in your life that you think you should change, decide to change it right now and keep at it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, click the thumbs up button and the red subscribe button down below. Until next time, keep reading.